Oh, did I say I was going to stop? I meant I'm going to keep going until I get it because I'm a stubborn motherfucker. Sorry, I don't think I communicated that very well. I don't think I like the three iron approach, though, I'm going to be honest. It's not really been doing it for me. Oh. I can't believe that was still too hard. Even with the wind. Yeah, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, what, what is? I, I understand the the concept that you're referring to. I get it. Sounds like my nightmare. That didn't get anywhere, did it? Fuck, man. I just, like, can't find the rhythm that I want for this. It's so weird that it's... Uh, can't probably do that. And I'm so bad at hitting the um, the power shot when I need it, too. Way over. Still way over. Don't care. Way over? Way over. Damn, dude. I like, I can't find the sweet spot on this. I'm impressed at how difficult this is. It's weird and sucky, but I feel like the best luck I've had is with the um, the one wood. 
I just really have to work hard not to hit a power shot. Or a shot that's too weak, apparently, as well. Oh! And I have to remember to do half power. If I don't, I'm just, you know, wasting a stroke. Let's just try again. I'm just going to do the one wood strat because I think that that's the one I'm going to be the most comfortable with. Oops. It's got to work eventually. Fine. If I shot ten of those, I would be just fine. Fuck, man. Okay, we got it in the orange. I really cannot afford to hit a max power shot when I'm using the one wood. God damn it, I did it again. Get to the orange. Oh, fuck. All right, I have to hit a red now. And I fuck. Oh my god, that's over the green. Now I really have to hit a red. God fucking damn it, dude. That's literally nothing. All right, that, that's probably GG. I need two reds. That's not hard enough either. I have to get it like right up there, but not quite all the way. It's so finicky. That's the sweet spot right there. Didn't get a red, though. That's not going to be enough points. Not going to be enough points. Points. Not even close to enough points because I can't hit a fucking red. Oh, I forgot that. Mm-hmm. Mm wow. Wow. So bad. So terribly bad. I'm glad you're happy, Akiyama. That was fucking atrociously bad. Okay, I'll take that orange. That's bad. That won't be good enough for any points. Sweet. Red? Okay, I'll take that red. I need another one already. Because I got a no point. Oh. 
That could be good for another red. Oh. Oh. Barely missed it. Should be at least orange. Just kidding. 420 at stroke six. Not good. These fucking four meter winds are at the worst spot for me right now. All right. Fuck me. Way over. Terrible. I don't think I can win now. Uh, if I got three reds. That's not a red. That's also not. God damn it, dude. Well, that's my best score so far. I was more consistent that time, but fuck. I've got a burrito here that I want to eat, but man, I'm just not not giving in until I until I fucking get it. It's supposed to be burrito time, but can't be burrito time when you suck at golf. Yeah, burrito time. I know, right? Oh, I thought that was in the red. Oh, I thought we were starting off with a fucking banger of a hit there. Well, that's not good. Such a bad hit. Ugh. Red, 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 red. Ah, uh, no, fuck. Shit. Shit, fuck, shit, shit, fuck, shit, fuck. God, fuck, shit. Fork, 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 fork. Red? Red. S Three reds wins. That's the small amount of good news that I have to share right now. Uh, also, three reds wins. That's the small amount of bad news that I have to share right now as well. That's not a red. That is very shy of being a red. 
so I do not win. Also not a red. Also not a red. Remember how three reds wins? I got zero. I got zero of the three that were needed for three reds to win. Fuck! Rogit pays the fee, and gets the sub. In this mod's case, it's all for Labrukek. Incredible. Thank you for the resub. 27 months. like that in the orange but or the red but that's okay red 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 nice that's big i need more like that That's also big. That's terrible. And by terrible, I mean almost in the fucking hole. Yeah, see, what do I know? 8.30 on stroke eight. Very doable. How will I fuck it up? That's one good way to do it. But we scored points. Need 100 points in two shots. 100 points in two shots. And we can be done with this game forever. That's not going to be the way to do it. That's not going to be the way to do it. Fucking 5.2 meter side wind. All right, that should get us out of here. Yep, we're done. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I fucked it up at the end. Antique chainmail was my reward. I don't feel rewarded.
There isn't even a closest to the pin category for golf. I'm a little mad about that, to be honest. I kind of thought that there wasn't when I looked at the, the high score already. I'm a little salty about that, I'll be honest. But it's okay. I wanted to know what the last prize was. It wasn't worth it, but I wanted to know. And now I do. And I wish I didn't. All right, let's take break two. I missed one because I was golfing. We need to take break two. It's going to be a 10 minute break. We're going to come back right around on the hour and uh, play out the rest of the stream. All right, I'm going to go eat my burrito. And I will see you guys in 10 minutes.
Roulette, apologies. I'm back. Sorry. I was gone for a really long time and I didn't really mean to be. Alright. So, I want to go explore this little underground mall area because I haven't done that before. Wise homeless man. Interested in knowing more about the Camaro Underground. Most normal people know about the parking lots of the underground malls. That's just common knowledge. But they're just amateurs, little league players at best. The big league players know the whole deal from the sewers to the un underground railway. There are tons of places we still haven't discovered. You'd be surprised just how deep the underground goes. Oh. Uh, is that pinging in from up above? Where is it? Examine. I don't actually see it. I think that was down below. I think that was like up here or something. I'm pretty sure I picked that up through the floor. Wow. What? Go down. Go down where? Oh, to the parking lot. Okay. Nico Nico Doga. Food magazine called Comro Gourmet. Let's read it. Showcases cool places to eat and coupons for great deals. Make a copy? Yeah. Probably unlock some secret menu items. Oh wow, I've got a lot of keys. On a grand bag. Do the storage. Metal bat. Blue fox. Oh, that's a that's a. Um... That's a new golf club set. Red shark. Also a new golf club set. Magnetized metal. Protective amulet. Oops. Steel shin guard. Item. 
tiger skin belt. Pocket tissues. Get rich quick card. Said to give you a win on your first spin. What are we spinning? Wantlets. And medicine. All right. Eight of 50 and 16 of 50. Oh, I've got a bunch of keys for the... Uh, we're probably close to halfway done with keys already. More Camaro Gourmet. Oh, I did send away. Ah, uh, shoot. I was going to say, these weren't translated before. Okay. So I'm not just going crazy. I see. Some of the signs are in Japanese. Some of them are not. Got it. Okay. I was like, all of a sudden I could read these, and I was like, what is happening? So what is this, a dress shop? We don't get to learn. We don't get to know. The game has decided that this... Arbitrary item storage limit is going to ruin my adventure. How dare they? And unfortunately, there isn't like a save point down here, so. There is one right here, though. Go ahead and put some of this stuff away. Alright, cool. Got that fixed up. I only came in here for the locker key. I can't read the magazines? Then I actually did only come in there for the locker key.
Shio Barakun, West Shichifuku Street. Is quite a ways away from where I am right now. But we'll hoof it up. We'll hoof it up there anyway. This is a slight detour as I look for a key. Where are you? Let's go open up some more lockers. Because I have a bunch of keys to use. Tattered scarf. Spicy knife. Eye of the dragon. Mystery stone. Pearl. Medicine. Ooh, the zero jewel. Gravity converter. Goddess of the children. Amulet. Lopsided. Cigarette. Another pearl. Shoulder pads. Maple chunk of wood. Royal joke card. Chunk of wood ash. My inventory's full again. But. 39 out of 100. 23 and 16. And I picked up A1 already as well and haven't. Oh. Really? Nice. Hyper stun gun. There's usually a key or two up around in here.
Just the one, eh? That's fine. No worries. My bad. I know it didn't look like I was very ap apologetic, but I promise I was. I don't remember where I said I was going. Does anybody remember, does anybody remember where I said I was going? Uh, small brain, no remember. Oh. There it is. Oh, Shiobara. Making sure I find keys is just like the perfect distraction for small brain. Probably this guy. Yo, what's going on? Oh, Akiyama-san. Well, that Shiobara guy you sent over showed up. He marched in blustering about how he was going to put me in the black. But when I showed him the books, I guess he ran out of steam. Well, the thing is, he inherit he'd inherited his father's company, but didn't want to downsize. And because of that, he wound up running the place into the ground. He willingly ruined his father's business just to avoid downsizing? Hmm. Say, Akiyama-san, do you think that'll happen to my place, too? Most likely. I peered over your books last time we talked. You'd be hard-pressed to get any more profit, and you've cut all the corners you can. The only thing left to do is... is to downsize. I know. Well, that may be true, but still, these people have been with me from day one. I've got to be frank with you here. It's your job as president to make this decision. I guess you're right. Oh, another thing. Do you know where Shiobara-kun went? You. Not exactly. He was walking toward Children's Park, though. He was? Thanks. I'll have to stop by again sometime soon. Oh, oh manhole. Boxy garbage, boxy, boxy garbage. Hey, bud. Well? Did you think of a way to get them back on track? What's wrong? You dropped by Paradise Advertising, yeah? You knew all along, didn't you? Knew what? You sent me to that company knowing full well that the only thing they could do was downsize. They have sufficient sales and good management. They take all the leaflet orders they can. I don't see how they could possibly bring in any more money. Which means they have to reduce their expenses. Employee salaries have already been slashed. And there's simply no more fat to trim. The president is a real go-getter, too. Keeps pristine books, has great employee morale, and still, he's stuck in the red. That sounds like the CEO you claim to be. You're looking in all the right places. If we need to reduce expenses, there's only one thing left to cut. Personnel costs. In other words... Hey! hey! If it isn't old Shiobara's idiot son, imagine my surprise running into you here. You... you work for my father's company. So you remember me, do ya? Well, thanks to you bringing down the old man's business, I'm still out of a job. Yeah. But I either had to downsize or close the place down. My hands were tied and I... Well, then you shouldn't have downsized. You think your way was more noble? My hands were tied. Ha! You think that's going to make up for all the hardship you've caused? Speaking as a manager, downsizing is... Does it make you proud that you didn't downsize? Well, guess what, pal? Your pride won't put food on the table. Who'd hire me now at my age? I either live on the street or die in the gutter. Take some responsibility and die alongside me. Bad idea, old man. Once you take a life, your own life is over for good. Shut up! You could never understand how I feel. Never! You're right, I couldn't. Still, murder's not the answer. What's your deal, anyway? You taking this moron's side? 
If you want to try to start over, I can help. Well, I can lend you money anyway. I don't want your damn money. How dare you insult me? Ah, that does it. We'll all go down together. Oh, I thought I could pick that up. They look kind of pick upable, don't they? Oh, I'll take this. La ooh, ooh, sir. Hey, enough of this bullshit. I worked with his dad for more than 30 years. We were good friends, all of us, and then this, this ignorant moron, he told all, tore it all to pieces. That company, that company was... Can't be easy to start over at your age. But if you're willing to try, stop by Sky Finance on Tenkaichi Street. I'm just a money lender, but a little money might be just what you need right now. Sky Finance? Drop by any time. You knew all along. You knew that downsizing was the only way to get that company in the black. Yep, sure did. Huh? I knew it. Then why? Why? His friends had been with him from the start. The president didn't want to downsize, but that was the only way to save his company. And he still couldn't bring himself to do it. So you've come here to mull it all over. Is that right? That angry old man, Paradise Advertising. I imagine you probably understand this now, but downsizing isn't necessarily a bad thing. Sure, it's not always the ideal or even the only option, but sometimes you have to do what's best for the company. If you don't, you might end up hurting a lot more people, like that old man. You see what I'm trying to say? Akiyama-san, could you ask that leaflet company guy to come meet us here? Sure, I'll call him right now. Yes, hello? This is Akiyama from Sky Finance. We have something we'd like to talk to you about. Could you come meet us at the park? What is it, Akiyama-san? Is something wrong? Shibara-kun wants to talk to you. Uh, well, I once brought down my father's printing company because I didn't want to downsize and lose all of the good people he'd employed over the years. Now your company's in the same position mine was. My apologies if this is too forward, but you have to downsize. Oh. Yes, I thought as much, but my people have been with me since the beginning. How could I just force them out like that? If the business fails, that's it. Everything's over. All of your employees get hurt. Every last one of them. I understand it's a tough decision to make, but it's the president's responsibility to protect the company. Akiyama-san? I agree. Downsizing is the only option. The heart goes out to you, but it's got to be better than turning everybody out into the streets. I see. I guess that really is the only way to go, then. I just have one favor to ask of you. If this downsizing does turn your company around, make sure the people who were forced out get first crack at working for you again. After all, it's those employees who served the company by leaving, and they'd all have be they'd all been friends and co-workers for a long time. Oh. Alright, I promise I will. When I first met you, Shiobara-san, I assumed you were nothing more than some half-baked smartass. But now I see that you look out for everyone like a fine, upstanding CEO. I know it's awfully hard, but we've got to do the best we can by our employees. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thank you very much. I've learned a lot from all this. Paradise Advertising will, will be in the black soon enough, so let's consider the test pass. The money is yours, provided you're still interested. Yes, I am. I can't give up now. I still don't know what kind of company to build, but I'm going to do my best to make sure it brings happiness to everyone who works there. I can promise you that much. And for right now, that's enough. Here you are, then. Five million yen. Thank you so much. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Uh, this is all I've got, but I'd like you to at least have some token of my gratitude. Please accept it along with my thanks. Memoirs of an action star. Sure, why not? Thank you kindly. Alright, I'm off. I'm about to become a very busy man. Yeah, we'll check in with him later. I'm not confident that he's going to turn out okay, but... Um, the one thing that I will say is I think... Oh, there we go. Um... 
you know, I would like to see him just unbankrupt his company. Because I, I mean, I don't know how it does. It, they didn't explain like, oh yeah, that was a year ago or something like that. Like, this was a recent decision of his to like, um, ruin the one company and try to start a new company. Uh, there's a chance that he could still bring that, bring his dad's company back to, uh, back to business. I think that wouldn't be such a bad thing. Uh, let's sort some things out here. Boozer's lore. Overall attack power when drunk. Taunt enemies. Not really much about that. Quick step attack. I'll take the double quick stack. Double quick step. Quick step cancel. A quick step executed during a rush combo cannot be performed when in, when in heat mode. Hmm. Okay. Guardrail crush. Take that. Bolt crush. Wall smash after that. Oh, double finishing kick. Oh. All right. Gourmet reporter. Gather some info on Conrai. Okay. Pimp my otaku. Hanaguchi's probably in front of the Millennium Tower already. Shoko-san asking for a loan. Akiyama vs. Hostess Clubs. Decided help with Casanova column. Pass on information at Kuez Bar. I don't actually know how to do that one yet. So, let's go talk to Hanachan. See what she can tell us about what she likes about Kanrai. Uh, maybe eat there myself. And then... Just more side conversation about a thing I haven't gotten access to yet. Oh, hello, Chief. I didn't didn't expect you back so soon. Well, you know, can't stroll around town forever. Do you have any work for me? Mm. I took care of all the paperwork, so... Oh, I know. Could you please clean up your desk area? There's just so much junk everywhere. But I thought you were in charge of cleaning up around here. Whoa. The last time I tried tidying up your desk, you kept pestering me for this document, that magazine. All you did was complain. I don't know what you'll end up needing, and if I move anything at all, I guarantee I'll hear about it. Thus, I've sworn off cleaning up your desk. Bummer. Excuse me, is this Sky Finance? Is there an Akiyama-san here? Oh, hello, and welcome. Chief, you have a customer. Ah, Shoko-san. Good to see you. Why don't you tell me more about your situation? Please, have a seat. This office certainly is dirty. Can you really conduct business here? You should have seen it before we tidied up. Apologies for the mess. So, how much do you owe at the moment? Did you check the exact amount? I owe five credit card companies and four loan sharks. 10.3 million yen in all. Although that's not including interest. Can you even imagine owing a hundred thousand dollars to just credit cards and loan sharks? I see. Well sounds like you have a pretty good idea of where you stand. Still, it must be hard paying it off when it's spread all over like that. Er, uh, why don't you borrow... Why did you borrow so much, exactly? I wanted to invest in myself, wear nice clothes, carry the latest accessories, and date good men. I can't have anybody take me lightly. I may have borrowed some money, but it's only because I'll be earning millions one day. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's some sound logic, but it seems to me you might have rushed things a little. Maybe so. Simply improving my appearance hasn't helped much. It's just not that easy. As long as you understand that, you should be fine. You can always start over. First, I recommend consolidating all your loans and coming up with, coming up with a repayment plan. What do you think? 
I think that's a good idea. Do you have a... Do you do loan consolidation here? Yes, of course. No interest and no collateral. What? No interest? Then what's in it for you? That's nothing for you to worry about. Or would you prefer to pay interest? Oh, I get it. You have some kind of conditions, don't you? Like, I have to sleep with you. Well, that sounds great, but no. You're a little off base. All I ask is that you take a test. A test? Yep, a test. Pass the test and I'll consolidate your debts. No interest, no collateral. So, what kind of test are we talking about? I have one million yen here. I'm going to give it to you. And then it'll be your job to decide how to spend it. Huh? I just have to spend one million yen? Pretty much. So what do you say? All right, I accept. Then it's a deal. Use every last yen of this one million. I'll be back when it's gone. See you then. Chief, are you sure about this? That's a million yen you just gave her. I gave it to her, yes, but then again, I didn't just give it to her. And yet you were reluctant to give me a bonus. Oh, uh, look, this is a test to see how Shoko-san spends her money. It's hard to spend borrowed money, but when it's a gift, the sky's the limit. Once one's spending habits can give you a pretty good idea of one's character. You think so? Hanachan, if somebody gave you money, you'd make a beeline for their dessert buffet. That tells us you're a foodie, right? Well, yeah, I guess, but I really admire Shoko-san wanting to move up in the world. Now I just want to know if she can see past the day. Hmm, well, with all that yen, I suppose she should pay down her debt. That's one way to use it. It's much better than spending it on a bunch of junk. Say, Hanachan, where do you think she'll go? For designer goods? La Marche. For food? Sushi Jin. And for fun? The host club Adam. Those would be my guesses. Could you give those places a call and tell them to try to get her to spend her money? Okay, but you know something, Chief? You really are a bad man. Hey, it is a test. I have to make it challenging, don't I? Thanks, Hanachan. I'll go, I'll go see how she's doing. La Martian Sushi Jin. Oh, and that host club, Adam. Where's Adam again? Near the center of the hotel district. Ah, that's right. Okay, I'm off. She's not wrong. It is kind of mean. <laughs> it, it is kind of mean, but it is a test. And kind of like Akiyama's thinking, if she's serious about wanting to pay off her loans, she'll use it to pay off her loans. She'll think about, she'll think beyond today. The wildest table at the hostess club. Host club, yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, we got a, we got a little indicator right over here. Sub story city. Shiabara? Oh, we're getting resolution on this right away. Oh, Akiyama-san. What are you doing on this side of town? Actually, I was just on my way to see you. Me? Uh-huh. All right. Let's head upstairs then. I guess we'll have to find out in a second. So, what can I do for you? Akiyama-san, please make me your apprentice. My apprentice? Yes, please. Well, this is sudden. Weren't you starting some kind of online company? That's what I figured at first, but when I really sat down to think about it, I couldn't come up with anything I wanted to do. So why become my apprentice? I bet if I studied under you, I could discover my true calling. That's crazy talk. Figure that out for yourself. Please. I have no intention of taking on an apprentice. I'm not asking to be paid, of course. I just want to stay here until I work out what I want to do. Absolutely not. I don't want to waste the five million yen, the five million yen you lent me. Please. Please. What's holding you back, Chief? He's already said he's not out for money. I don't know. Well, I'm all for it. Thank you, Hanasan. Fine. Really? We'll start by having you pick us up some lunch. I could do that. I'll be right back. You just wanted to be your errand boy, don't you? Was it that obvious? Oh my gosh. Whew, couldn't eat another bite. By the way, Akiyama-san, why did you start Sky Finance anyway? Why? 
Well, frankly, you're not making any money here. I was just wondering what gave you the idea. What gave me the idea, huh? You really want to know? I do. It might help give me the it might help give me a push. I used to be homeless. Did you really? Yeah. I wor I'd worked at a bank, but what with but what with one thing after another I quit. Ran out of money pretty fast. When was this? About 5 years ago maybe. After I left the bank, I lived on the streets for a while. Then one day money came literally flooded literally flooding. Oh my god. Then one day money came literally fluttering down from the sky. Really? Money? You didn't hear about that? There was an explosion at the Millennium Tower that blasted billions of yen out into the street. Oh yeah, I saw that on the news. I ran around like an idiot, but eventually gathered up about a million yen or so. And that's how you started your business? Was that chump change? Nah, you can't even rent an office for that little. Then what did you do? I'd been in the banking business, so I knew a little bit about finance. I thought, what's the best way to make more? So I went into day trading. What's that? Basically trading stocks within the course of a single day. You complete a bunch of trades on a day-by-day -day basis, and if all goes well, you can earn a substantial profit on your sales. It's not all that different from gambling, I suppose, but with a little ex expertise, you can make more than you would on the horses. And did you? Did you really make that million grow? Well, it was do or die. I scraped up whatever info I could and bought and sold both day and night. Not everything was strictly legal, however. One bad trade and I would have been done for. But I guess somebody up there was looking out for me. Before long, I had made a pretty nice chunk of change. Then I tried futures trading and the like. Maybe I had a natural talent for it. In any case, the money just kept on multiplying. I'd made a business set. I'd made a businessman's salary thousands of times over in only a few short years. Soon after, I found myself wondering what I should do with it all, which made me lukewarm on the idea of making more. Did you lose interest in money itself? No, I just went from thinking only about how to make money to thinking about ways to use the money I had made. And you became an interest-free money lender to help people with their money problems? No, it was more than just wanting to help out people who were strapped for cash. I wanted to see people who'd lost their money and hit rock bottom work hard and pull themselves back up again, just like I had. And that's how Sky Finance came to be? Excuse me, I've heard I can get a loan here. That's enough war stories for today. Okay. Let's hear what she had to say. Right this way. Yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that, Shayla, as far as, like, the food that he went out and got is concerned. I don't think that's important. Like, I think when somebody asks you to get lunch, it's a little bit of a different... Um, I think there's a bit of a different mentality about it because I think for the most part he could have gone anywhere and gotten anything and everybody would have eaten it because they have a different culture around like what people need versus what people want and food is a need. And so a lot of times if somebody brings back something that maybe you're not a big fan of or it's not like your favorite thing or whatever, like you'll still just eat it without question. And I don't think it's very common for people to like actually if they're doing a group order or buying lunch for some for a group of people or something like that, I don't think it's very common for them to like actually take an order like a specific like you just somebody goes and gets lunch and brings it back and then everybody eats it. I would say um, obviously it's hard for me. to. I'm not speaking from experience. I'm just speaking from kind of general understanding. I don't think it's on. I don't think what we saw was was anything. A, I don't think it was a mistake as far as the developers are concerned. I don't think they forgot to think about having him ask people. I think culturally speaking, that is the norm, um, or at least is close to the norm. Um, and I think that that's because they have different social values. They don't. They don't see being. What what I would consider and what you would consider. Um, just being polite and making sure that the food that you receive is something that you would like. Yeah, I mean, that's that's exactly, that's literally, what you just said is exactly the point that I was about to make. What you and I see as being polite in the way of being like, making sure that somebody doesn't feel bad for getting the wrong food. They, you know, they might, they might suggest like, well, what about Mexican food? And you might say, I can't do that because I have IBS or... I don't really like Mexican food or whatever reason you might have a reason or you might not. 
um, have a reason for not wanting Mexican food. Um, and so then they say, oh, you're okay, sure, let's get something else. And then that's what everybody gets, right? There, That sort of discussion just doesn't really happen because they don't want to be perceived as being picky or snooty or whatever. Like, dietary constraints are one thing if somebody is, you know, uh, lactose intolerant or whatever. I'm sure that they would mention that. Or if they had IBS or or something that didn't sit well with certain types of food, they would probably mention that. Um, but discreetly and also not like a, it's not like a, okay, I'm going here. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? It's more of just like a, I'm going to go get, you know, bentos from the convenience store down the, down the block. Um, but you don't even communicate that. You just say, I'm going to go get lunch. And you go down and you get a few bentos and you bring them back and everybody eats them. So it's just it's just a different thing. And like I said, I think it really does come down to they they have they their social value is, in that situation is I don't want to be perceived as somebody who is difficult or picky or, um, you know, uh, is, is going to cause. And, and really at the root of it. I don't want to be somebody who's seen as somebody who or I don't want to be seen as somebody who causes trouble. You you hear that that sentiment a lot actually when you when you um the glut of choice. It's not even the glut of choice. It's we don't we don't see it the same way. We don't see saying, "Hey, make sure that I get um wheat bread instead of white bread for my sandwich." Uh we don't see that as being troublesome. But other cultures do. Other cultures see that as being a, an unnecessary burden um, or being troublesome. That's like a pretty that's like a pretty core thing. And that's um, that that drives a lot of their social behavior, not wanting to be a burden, not wanting to be a trouble on somebody else. Um, even even if it's something so minor as saying wheat versus white bread, like I, I shit you not. So. That's that's I that's really what it is. It's not necessarily that we have so many choices that everybody's that everybody has their own favorites. It's that we don't see saying I want a number six, no mayo, uh, light cheese, heavy lettuce, wheat bread. We don't see that as as an imposition. That's just not how we view. That's just that's our norm. That's just our norm. We we are used to customizing and ordering for ourselves, and we don't see why that should be a problem for another person who might be doing it for us. And they don't see that the same way. They see it as, well, I will eat what they bring back. Even if it's not my favorite, even if it's not even if it's not the way that I would make it, even if it's not my um my usual order. As long as um, I'm not going to get hurt or die from it, I will eat it. Because they did something nice for me, and I will show them the same kindness. And I will not impose on them with um, anything too strenuous when they're doing this nice thing for me. And like I said, I, it, it, that's really it's just a cultural thing. I wouldn't say either is particularly right or wrong. Um, I would say that somewhere in the middle lies the truth. I would... I would argue that they should feel a little bit less afraid to be expressive about the things they like and don't like. But I would say that the way that we do it in the West is a little extreme, you know, so finding some balance and I'm guilty of the extreme in the West. I do shit like somebody says, I'm going to go get lunch. Do you want anything? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I've got this whole custom order. No cheese, no mayo, add mustard. Um, like I. I am very much guilty of the of the imposing level of of extra bullshit when it comes to somebody doing something nice like getting um, getting food for me. So I I can totally see from from both sides of the the perspective here. Anyway, that's just my little uh, cultural rant for the stream. So there you go. I appreciate you bringing that up, though, Chayla, because I had noticed that as well, but I wasn't going to say anything. 
Um, but I do think once again, it's not a mistake and it's, it's, it's something that is very, I wouldn't even necessarily say it's calculated, but like that is that interaction of being like, why don't you Gil get us something for lunch? And him saying, okay, I'm going and going and getting lunch and doesn't ask is just because that's how they do it. Yes. Yeah. You're, you're very right. J hit. Yep. That is also a thing. Yep. Yeah. Like, like saying that you don't want a certain part of the order to be on your version of it is, is not, it's not really something that you would do. It's not really something that you would do at all. People would, people would, and I, and things, you know, things change, cultures change. Um, at, with, with like global exposure and things like that, you know, you see different sides of things. So some people might be willing to do that for you, but internally, and maybe even a little bit externally with like a frown or, or a raised eyebrow or something, you're going to get the sense that that's unusual. Um, and I think that that's, that's, that's really the, the heart of it, but yeah, no, it's, it's it's fast. I love talking about this shit. I, I don't know if you guys have gathered that or not. One of the reasons why I like playing these games is because I think they are such a uh, unique and faithful approach to um, exposure um, to the culture that is in Japan, specifically big cities, because um, rural 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 culture in Japan is different from city culture, for sure. But uh, yeah, anyway, babble, babble time over. Back to Akiyama helping people with money problems. Now, what can I do for you? Hi. Well, my husband's obsessed with gambling, and he's gotten us into a ton of debt. Then he drinks and just becomes so incredibly violent. I got us out of there as soon as I could. I couldn't take it anymore. <sighs> That's terrible. He borrowed all kinds of money under my name, too, and now the loan offices refuse to give me the time of day. I heard a rumor that you might be able to help, so we're he so here we are. How much did you need? We left with nothing but the clothes on our backs. Would it be possible to borrow about 500000 for living expenses? All right. But you'll have to pass the test before I give you the money. Hi. Yes, I'd heard about that, too. What would you have me do? You have three hours to find work somewhere here in Kamurocho. Do that, and the 500000 is yours. Interest free. Hmm? Only three hours? You'll find something if you look hard enough. They say we're in a recession, but there's still plenty of work available if you're not too picky. What do you think? Want to give it a try? See, there's that word. Like, literally, as we just talked about it. The idea of kind of giving up your own preferences, not being too picky, and finding something. Because that's really what I was asking. He's not even saying that she has to sign up for a five-year working term and uh, anything like that. He's just saying, find a job. Find somebody who would hire you, get hired, three hours. What do you think? Want to give it a try? Okay, I'll see what I can find. Was it really necessary to give her a test? After all she's been through. If she's serious about the loan, she'll pass it just fine. Where's Noriko? And you are? My wife came here for a loan. Oh, so you're her husband, are you? Aha! So she was here. Uh-huh. Where is she? Drag her ass out here right now! I'm sorry, but your wife is now my customer, and I'm not at liberty to divulge information about my customers. Why, you! If you have any complaints, I'd be more than happy to take this outside. That suits me just fine. Alright, let's hear what you have to say. I ain't got nothing to say. Just get Noriko out here now. You looking to get your ass beat? Now, see here, pal. Oh, shut the fuck up, will ya? That lo looks like I'm just gonna have to beat your ass. J 
Jay Hit, I'm gonna need a location where I can find the music in this game, like stat. Because I fucking adore every time this battle theme starts, I'm just like, mm, fuck yes, dude. It's so good. I don't I'll pay for it. If you if you can find me a link to pay for it, I'll fucking pay for it. Damn it, you'll pay for this. I don't know what it is about this song, but I it is just I love the way it starts. I love the beat. I love the um um how do I how do I how do I phrase this? Like um I like the instrumentation. It's good. It's a good song. Wow, I'd run too if I were married to him. Naturally. Any luck? No, nothing. Then I can't lend you the money. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave. I stopped into every single place looking for a part-time help. They all said I was too old. I tried lots of stores and restaurants, but they told me I had enough help. They had enough help. And? Three hours to find work in Camarocho? It's just not possible. Did you check the red light district? Huh? What? You know, massage parlors, places like that. Somebody as good looking as you should be able to find a willing employer, no problem. I could never work in the sex industry. That's entirely up to you. But you won't get a loan, you won't get the loan until you pass the test. But I... I really must ask you to leave. I, he, he said it. He said it and I understood his implication. He said, as long as you're not too picky. But she had that mental block. Of like, I would never do this. Then you're not... I mean, like, he's literally... I, I love his tests because I think they're really geniusly designed and I think he's pretty she also has a kid with her. Five hundred thousand yen. Life changing amount of money. If you were in that situation where you were that desperate, wouldn't you find a way? That's the point. No, that's but I you're missing the point though. Like that's that I, I love that test. I I've loved every single one of his tests so far. Because I think that they cut down to the core. Uh, some people might give you the time of day, but you like then don't bring your kid. <laughs> That's I think I think the thing you have to understand is like you could find somebody to watch your kid for a half hour while you went and did something else when when you went and did uh, a circuit through the red light district. Like I. I think that's what's so interesting about the way that he is presenting these tests is they're very basic on the surface. Um, but she even she even flounced at the idea of 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 what he was asking. Right. But he made it super clear, even after the simple pretext, he said, as long as you're not too picky, I knew what he meant. I knew that he was basically saying you need you're going to need to look high and low and in places that you might not consider. And again, he didn't say she had to work a single day in that job. All he had to do was, all he said was, find a job. He said nothing about actually working there. Just find one. But that's, that's the thing is like, and I'm sure he'll explain his thought process here, but I think I'm on the same the same wavelength here. I get what he's going for. Five hundred thousand yen is a lot of money, and I'm sh I'm sure he gets people coming in here all the time who would not be committed to paying him back. He gives them no interest, but he still expects those loans to get paid back eventually. And. You, you've got to have somebody who's truly committed to that process. 
And he's, I mean, yeah. The kid doesn't matter. Like, find somebody you can trust, dump him off at the park with them, be gone for a half hour, an hour. And not even that. Like, okay, I'll put it to you this way. We already did a sub story where Akiyama did some scouting. And he met with some girls on the street and just ch chatted them up really quick about uh, working at a hostess club and exchanged a business card phone number, right? None of that process should be like, it does not matter if you have a kid. Those, like the scouting that I did, I talked to everybody. So I, I think that, you know, if she was trying, she could have found something. Akiyama-san, hasn't she been through enough already? Like I said, I don't give people money just because I feel sorry for them. Still, if she truly wanted a new life for herself, she'd have gone straight into a massage parlor and asked for a job. I won't lend to anybody who's less than serious. You were serious about changing your life, right? And I lent you your money. I helped you because you were sincere. You said you didn't want to waste my 5 million yen. Are you really looking for a worthwhile way to spend it? Because I can tell you right now, you won't find anything by hanging around me. You're right. You lent me money, so I felt dependent on you. I'll give some ser some more. S ugh. I'll give some more serious thought to what exactly it is I want to do. Like it may have been an uncomfortable task that he gave her, but like he said, if she if he was her, he knows exactly where he would have gone. Are you sure about this, Chief? You could have let Shi Shiobara-san work here, you know. No, it's better this way. He's a big boy. I'm sure he can figure out his hopes and dreams all by himself. I totally, I like I said, I, I, I get it. I get what he's going for. Yes, it would have been uncomfortable. Yes, especially with the kid. But I think if you are, like he said, he wants that person to be sincere and committed. And that was a really easy one. That's a that's a perfect test to make sure that that is how somebody feels about that situation. Very well designed. He analyzed the situation, gave it some thought, gave her the test, knew that if she came back empty handed, no job, then it would mean that she wasn't really truly that committed because there are, like he said, any massage parlor. No problem. So. Oh, I forgot. That's not even why I went there in the first place. I went there because I was going to talk to Hanachan. She didn't tell me her her uh, opinion about uh, Conroy. Oh, can I not? Oh, okay. So I guess I have to go. Oh, what was that? Was that the door? I was the door. Shoot. All right. Fine. All right, I need to brief AFK. I'm just going to be gone for a couple of minutes. I will be right back.
I am returned. Okay. Sushi Jin and LaMarche are both nearby me on the south side of town right now, so let's go to those. Oh. Hello? There it is. That might be just a little bit too close. Nice. That one would have been a really hard one to find without the key radar. All right. Sushi Jin. Oh. Founder. Ah, that was delicious. Sushi Jin really is the best. Sushi Jin really is the best in town. I guess Shoko-san had some sushi. She sure did. She may have just failed the test. Let's see what the chef has to say. Hi, welcome. Ah, if it isn't Akiyama-san. Hi there. I think you got a call from Hanachan, right? So how did Shoko-san do? I have some great tuna today, so I recommended the Otoro. But wouldn't you know it? All she ate was the daily special before going on her way. How much is the special? 980 yen. Wow, cheap. Can I have one? All sold out, I'm afraid. But, you know, she was a little off today. She usually only eats uni, awabi, you know, the, price, the pricey stuff. What's going on? Hmm, so I guess she hasn't touched that million yen then. Wait, what? When Hanachan told me to make her spend money. Hey, is this another one of your tests? Something like that. Thank you for your thanks for your help. Let's drop by again soon. Interesting. Doesn't look like she spent her million. Okay, where's she headed to now? Well, she didn't spend it on food. Let's check out the Oh. Uh. Ah. It's in the bike basket. That one was pretty hard to see. There she is outside in the marsh. So this is where she went. Now let's see what she does. She went inside. Better keep a low profile. <laughs> Akiyama watching through the door on the outside is just so good. Ah, Muto-san, the platinum ring you inquired about the other day is finally in. Platinum? Hmm. I do have the money for it. It's a very popular piece. I've already had a number of customers asking after it, but I put it aside especially for you. I believe it's your size. Would you care to purchase it today, Muto-sama? No, that's all right. I'll come back when I can pay for it myself. I see. I'm terribly sorry, but I can't guarantee it will be here on your next visit. That's fine. Thank you. Wow. Two for two. Crap, here she comes. Doesn't look like she bought anything. Now then, where's she off to next? 
the host club. For sure. Got a key in here? No? Bye. Should have taken a taxi. You oh. oh sorry, Akiyama. I honestly wasn't looking and I pushed the wrong button. But I'm glad that you took some damage. Cause it turns out you're pretty strong. Yep. Right in the moneymaker. But I, I haven't really been able to, like, go eat any food, so I feel bad for letting him just, like, get jacked like that, and it was my own fault. Uh, but at least now I can eat at a restaurant. Because he, man, he just trounces these people. Oh, an army knife, hey? What's up, motherfucker? Friend came armed. Aren't you glad for that? Uh, yeah, let's get to Matsuya. Matsuya, Matsuya. Time for me to have some Matsuya. I'll take a large. Wait, can I order more than one? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fun. It feels so fluid, too. I think that's the reason I like it so much. The The moves really feel like they flow together super well. And it, and it feels fast and, and balanced and everything. All right, here's our boy. He's all spruced up. Let's do this. Akiyama-san, I got all dressed up, just like you said. You're serious, right? I just want to make sure. Yeah, I'm serious. Oh my gosh, what a dork. Ouch, that guy is trying way too hard. See, if two random girls in the street think your look is atrocious, how can you never hope to charm a hostess? Hell, even a hundred million yen won't help you look like, won't help you like this. Man, there must be something you can do. A man's got to be particular about his appearance. I'll help you evolve from a caterpillar into a butterfly. I don't have any money. Don't sweat it. Consider it a reward for being such a loyal customer. All right, then. Let's do it. Excuse me. I'd like to purchase a complete ensemble, clothes and accessories bolt. Certainly, sir. What kind of ensemble would you like today? Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> I... You're asking the wrong person, game. You are asking the wrong person. And I know you can fuck up sub stories. Well, this one might be the first one we fuck up. I haven't saved all day, so this 
This might be GG on the 100% on one save file. Let's just try this suit. Let's see. Do you have any chic suits? We do have some new Italian suits in stock. I'll take one of those then. Thank you very much. Now, what accessories can I show you? A no nonsense vest, a style and hat, an afro wig. Ah. Let's go with the vest. Let's see. Do you have any elegant vests? This one is rather fashionable at the moment. I'll take one of those then. Will that be all? That's it. What do I owe you? That'll be 98,000 yen. Thanks for your help. It's been my pleasure. I look forward to seeing you again. What's he going to look like in this new suit getup? Oh, luxury styles? Nice, you look like a brand new man. Now, time for a little practice. What? Well, uh, but this isn't your club. It's Miki I'm after. You idiot. Miki's one tough cookie. But I guess I don't need to tell you that to the guy who spent 5 million yen on her. She's not the kind of girl you can get simply by dressing the way she likes. You'll need to learn the right things to say to her. Now it's time for a crash course in talking to girls at this club. Yeah. What? You're not going to bail on me, are you? Wouldn't be much of a crash course if I stuck around. I'll just give you some advice. Uh. Hmm. I don't want him to be assertive. I don't think there's any th anything wrong with selling yourself, but I think that people could take this kind of out of hand and go too far. I think paying attention to what she's saying is a relatively effective and not something that you can really fuck up type of advice. Like, well, I mean, you could. You could literally try to paying so much attention that you forget to say anything. But I think that's the, the easiest way to get somebody to know that, they, that you're interested in them is to show interest in them. So, I think this is probably the safest advice. I don't necessarily think selling yourself is a terrible idea either. I think you need to do a bit of both, but... Paraphrase that famous Shakespearean quote, Fickleness, thy name is woman. They're always changing their minds. You have to figure out how they feel and respond pr properly. I, I see. What I'm trying to say is it's more important to listen to them than it is for you to talk. By listening, you can sense her mood, which makes it easier for you to respond. But that's normally a hostess's job to do just that. In any event, you'll get far with the hostess by getting her on her good side. But whatever, you need to practice. Good luck. Thanks. Go get him, tiger. Okay. Good luck, bud. He doesn't have his glasses on, so I'm not confident he can really see where the fuck he's going, but... How'd it go? Akiyama-san. How'd it go? I tried listening just like you said, and it worked. I guess girls like it when guys do that. It went really well. Excellent. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Great. Then why don't you go see Miki now? I can't. I have a date with a hostess from this club. A date? But what about Miki? I'm so over, Miki. Would you mind telling her that for me, Akiyama-san? I mean, all this training was a waste of my time? Not at all. Thanks to you, I'm a new man. I really appreciate your help. I'd like to give you this as a thank you. I won't be needing it anymore. A copy of Shiny Shine, Love Shine. Well, I'm off. Goodbye. Okay, Ryoko, let's go. Not the ending I expected, but whatever. I wonder if that's like... Did I actually... Did I actually star that one? I did. Okay. Not the ending I expected either, if I'm being honest. Because what does it say about... Um, Substore... Finished and complete. Ah, check mark. 
is finished. Star is complete. So we want the stars. The stars are good. Check mark is bad. Check mark means we didn't get the best ending. But we did with that one. So go team. Um, we're up by Conrai now, which is great. And we're also nearby Adam in the hotel district. Let's stop in at everybody's favorite Yakiniku place. Let's see if we can't gather some information about... Oh, but now... Oop, hold on. Where are you at, Q? Where are you at, you little nuggin? Oh, it's in the street. Now I'm all paranoid, though, because <laughs> that that one in particular, because it was like, here's a list of three choices. Here's another list of three choices. Here's a third list of three choices. I was like, oh, God, what if I fucked up any one of those? So now I'm going to go save. Man, I miss there being disco in my Yakuza game. Disco was great. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm in the hotel district now. Let's just do this one. Let's just do this one while we're here. We should be able to find Shoko somewhere nearby. I'm also scanning for keys. Oh, there she is. A host club, huh? This could be bad. Hey, you think it's really true that Shoko's come into some cash lately? It's true, all right. I heard she got it from that Akiyama guy at Sky Finance. <laughs> that Akiyama. What a pain in the ass. Wish she'd get the hell out of Kamurocho already. Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, excuse me. How do you know Shoko-san? Hey, aren't you? Yeah, you're that Akiyama guy from Sky Finance. Well, uh, yes, I am. And I'm going to have to ask you to leave Shoko-san alone. She's right in the middle of one of my tests and doesn't need any distractions right now. Uh -huh. The hell you say? You think you can order us around? Not ordering. I'm asking. Ah, uh, never mind that. Look, we lent her tons of money. If we don't get it to her from her while, she's get while the getting's good, she'll slip away from us again. As if you didn't already profit enough from your ridiculously high interest rates. She probably paid off the principal ages ago. Yeah, so what? She signed the contract. You got a problem with it? Oh, I'm sure she signed the contract. The intentionally confusing contract. You most likely forced her to sign. Shut up. And mind your own damn business. You'll stay out of our way if you know what's good for you. <sighs> I guess there's no use in talking, huh? Hey, you want to fight? You got it. Really? Your timing couldn't be better. I never did like your dumb ass. We need you out of the VAR business, so we're just going to snap a leg bone or two. Come on, get him.
What the fuck are you? Ah, sorry. I should have told you. I'm stronger than I look. Damn it. You'll pay for this. Never heard that one before. Do people really still talk like that? Okay, time to see how Shoko-san's doing. Akiyama-san? What are you doing here? Oh, uh... Wait a minute. Have you been following me? No. No, I was just in the neighborhood, collecting a debt. What have you been up to? Me? That doesn't really matter, does it? It has nothing to do with you, after all. Fair enough. By the way, did you spend that million yet? I decided how I'll use it. Is that so? Well then, I'll await your decision back at Sky Finance. Alright, I'll come by later. Sounds good. I'll see you there. Well, I think we might have had our cover blown there, but, uh... She didn't seem too perturbed by it, so maybe we'll get out of that one a little on the lucky side. I didn't take it. Uh, I didn't take any damage from that fight. God damn it! I think that's the thing that I like the most about it. He seems to really handle the crowds super well. I feel like he can bounce between enemies really effectively and keep them locked down and spread out. Welcome. Let me show you your seat. No point eating now. I'm not even hungry. Fuck. Yeah. Well. Shit. Gonna need somebody to hit me. Is there anybody around who would like to hit me? Anybody at all? Anybody interested in hitting me? Just a nice love tap or two. Any takers? Here's a taker. Suspicious alcohol? Oh, nice. I'm buff. Alright, that's enough hit. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you guys. That should do it. Conroy, here I come. Just had to get a hold of some delicious... Oh, wait. Yeah, this way. Some delicious, suspicious alcohol first. Thanks to my, uh... Thanks to my ally up there on Park Street. What a bro. I have a Camaro Gourmet on you. Would you like to use the coupon? Sure. 
be using the coupon then? Thank you. Right this way. Would you like to order? Oh, look at that. Everything's cheaper. How specialty. Keep it, Bob. Kimchi combo. Oh, so much of this sounds good. What was my objective? Limited thick cut eye steak. Ah, I should probably have that, shouldn't I? After using the coupon, your Comoro Gourmet Magazine was discarded. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I could just pick more of those up and keep getting, keep eating for cheap. Food is life itself to that guy. I'll gather some info on Conrai and bring it to Earth Angel. Interesting. I don't actually remember. I can't dive into it for more details. I don't actually remember what he asked me to do. He said, smell... I don't remember what it was. I might flub that one. We'll probably save before I try to turn that one in. Should I just uh yeah, let's just go let's just go do it. Where's the nearest save point? Ugh, not super very nearby, but we will save again really quick before I turn that one in. Maybe I should have read all the item descriptions. I just thought that, like, me ordering something that seemed unique might be what I was supposed to do. But I think I should have paid closer attention. I'll go Aww. I thought I outran him. Wakabayashi. Didn't take a hit again. Huh. Tamichiro. Oh, hey there. You make yourself at home now, okay? I'm Ichiro. Just started out here. The, just started here the other day. Hope you'll stop by sometime, sugar. Not more Michiru stuff. Akiyama-san! 
You have those mouthwatering texture and awful awful dish recommendations for me yet? Yep, sure do. Sure, I'm ready. First, please tell me what your favorite Yakiniku shop is called. Conroy. It's Conroy on Shichifuku Street. Ah, so there's a great place on Shichifuku Street, is there? Tell me, which of the dishes has the, has the best mouth-watering texture? Oh. I don't know how I would know this. Sirloin or Colby? I'm gonna go with the sirloin. Grade A sirloin, I'd say. So that's what you should order when you want to experience unparalleled texture. Now, what would you say is their most unique offal dish? Honestly, probably the liver. Most unique, definitely the liver. Probably the liver sashimi. Well, that was easy enough, wasn't it? All right, I think I've got it. And my stomach's calmed down a bit too. I'm gonna run right down there and try those delicious dishes myself. Huh? You sure you want to do that? I'll be fine if I stick to your recommendations. After all, I need to make a note of the place's ambience, too. Ah, right. Well, don't overdo it. I won't. Oh, and I have something I want to give you, so hear me, meet me here afterward, all right? Sure. Enjoy yourself. He's going to come back and be like, Those dishes sucked. I hated them. Brr. Oh, wait. Can I drink? Japan, Japan's top single malt whiskeys. Such a status symbol that whiskey aficionados the world over have heard of it. Carefully selected, perfectly matured single malts to get that great smooth flavor. Popular overseas, too. I really want to find a place that sells some Japanese whiskey. How about another drink? Fuck yeah. This one's made at Sun Suntory's Hakushu distillery in Japan's South Alps, an area famous for its mountain spring water. Its fruity, creamy flavor combined with a distinctly smoky accent makes for a superb drinking experience. I recommend taking the first drink straight up to fully appreciate its quality. Thirty-nine EXP. All right. If you're getting to a fight in the champion district, I'll be there in a flash to help you out. Hell yeah. No key in here, though. If I just go back in, will he be there? No. Okay, yeah, he doesn't appear to be at Conroy right now. Let's just uh, go find out what uh, what ended up happening with Shoko, and then we'll go check Earth Angel again. Hi, Chief. Shoko-san's here. Oh, is she? That was fast. 
So, how did you spend your million yen? I haven't yet. Huh? But... The sushi restaurant, the host club... You have far too much time on your hands, Akiyama-san. Oh, so you saw me. Yes, well, you're not exactly subtle. Thank goodness you're in finance. You'd make an awful detective. I shouldn't have been so nosy. My apologies. So, what are you going to do with the money? This million yen will go toward paying off my debts once you've consolidated them. All this time, I've been investing in my future self, and I've borrowed a lot of money along the way. But I've come to understand that other people's money can't buy my future. My future can only be bought with money I've earned myself. And that's why I'll use this million yen you gave to pay me, me to pay down my debts. I have to admit I'm surprised. Quite frankly, it's a better use than I expected. I figured you'd put that million toward paying down some of your current loan shark debts. Well, I thought about it, but then I believed you when, you'd say, when you said you'd consolidate them for me. If you'd refused to go through with it, then I would have given back every last yen. My pride won't allow me to accept money for no good reason. I happen to have a great deal of self-respect. Well, in that case, I'd say you've passed, and with flying colors. You should be proud of yourself. You did better than I expected. I passed the test? But how? I told myself that if you, of your own free will, chose to pay down your debts, you'd pass. But you showed me an even better solution. Akiyama-san. Sky Finance will handle all your debts from here, Shoko-san. Thank you. It seems I was wrong about you. Truthfully, I thought you were just some sarcastic jerk. Really? Well, I liked you right away. Hanachan, could you please do a survey of Shoko-san's debts and write up a contract for us? Hi. Yes, right away. Well, there you go. Well, we're done for today. You'll be working with Hanachan on the details. All right. Thank you in advance. You're welcome. Oh, and would you care to join me for dinner? Chief! I'm sorry, but I couldn't possibly make your darling secretary angry. Who knows what she'd do to my contract? Ah, right. Here, this is for you. It was a gift, but I think it suits you. A protective animal. Today was fun. I'll be seeing you again. Too bad, huh, Chief? Say, Hanachan, you wouldn't want to grab a bite to eat, would you? Me instead of Shoko-san, you mean? No, that's not... Are you sure? I can easily put away a hundred pieces of Otoro at Sushi Jin, you know. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll just pop out for a little something on my own. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's so funny. This poor guy sometimes, man. Alright, let's head to let's head to Earth Angel again and see. True Aya. True Aya. What's up, Skid? <laughs> Not at all what I typed. Uh, I don't know. It's right there in the chat. Played her up to be exactly what you think she's going to be. Who? Hanachan? Phone autocorrect? Oh. Woof. Who are you referring to with that statement? Hana or Shoko? I think there's a lot we don't know about Hanachan yet. I don't know if we'll necessarily explore her her character to the depths that we could, but I think that there's I think that there's quite a bit more to her than meets the eye. Cuz I I don't the thing that I will say about Hana is that I don't think we really fully understand the relationship between her and Akiyama. It's clearly not one he typed Terraria. That's great. That's great. Um, I think that uh, saying that we understand that relationship, which is clearly not just one between boss and secretary, is... No, she's a foodie. We, they, 
they they literally talked about the fact that she's a foodie she likes food doesn't have anything to do with her size i think you're letting uh an interpretation be given to you instead of trying to recognize what they're going for Plus, I could eat 100 pieces of sushi because I love fucking sushi. So I'm pretty sure that's all they're saying. 100 pieces of sushi is nothing. Although sushi that's that expensive, I would not eat 100 pieces of. Sushi is so goddamn good. Yeah, see, and Shayla is just willing to be wrong on the internet as much as she wants, like she just did. So. He's back! Akiyama-san, I went to the Yakinika restaurant you suggested. It struck me as being a little different from what you described. Nevertheless, the, amb the ambience was quite nice and I was able to gather a great deal of info. Glad I could help. Oh, this will be very useful when it comes to writing that gourmet guide. It isn't much, but I'd like to give you this as a token of my thanks. Uh, Akiyama-san, this is a truly presumptuous of me, but could you maybe find me another restaurant or two? What? Didn't you get your Yakiniku fix? I think I have a handle on Yakiniku, but then there's sushi, ramen, sweets, all sorts of cuisine that still need to be investigated. Well, the whole nine yards, huh? I don't think I could stick around for all that. How about just one more, then? Find me an outstanding ramen shop, the apple of any middling gourmand's eye. There are too many ramen shops in this town. Impossible to narrow down for someone... It's only a passing acquaintance with Japanese cuisine. Well, maybe just one. What would you like to know? Oh, thank you so much. Let's see. I need to find out about the stock they use and any distinctive toppings they offer. Distinctive toppings, huh? Something that'll make me sound like an authentic ramen fan, like this such and such was brought all the way from the heart of who knows where. So, the stock they use and any distinctive toppings. I'll check around some of my favorite places. Thank you very much. There's really only one ramen shop I keep coming back to. I guess I'll go there. Kyushu number one star. Fortunately, because of Yakuza 3, I know everything about their their freaking stock that they use. Everything you could possibly want to know. I guess we're still going. We haven't started yet, but um, now it's round two. Yep, Kyushu number one star. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. I was like blacked out fucking autopilot just trying to drive my way to Kyushu number one star. Dude, that guy just would not fall down. Thought there might be a key in here. Oh, there's a magazine too. Oh, I can't interact with it. There's a there's a tip guy. You're Akiyama-san, huh? You're pretty famous here at the shop. The boss here might only talk to you 
to get your order, but when you're not around, he told us if you see Akiyama-san and Sama, if you see Akiyama-san in trouble in front of the shop, you've got to help him. Oh, whoops. Don't cause a scene if you can't help it. Bothers the neighbors, you know? So I will admit it's pretty fun to watch. I need to check that memo. I skipped it on accident. Street fights. Getting help from people Akiyama. After Akiyama has befriended certain people, they may help them in fights that occur close to their usual haunts. They may toss in weapons or recovery items, so be ready to press the correct button at the right time to catch them. Note that their help is limited to random encounter battles. Hey, bud. Standard menu item offering the authentic taste of Kyushu Tonkatsu Ramen. Stewed pork rib, or stewed pork. Famous tonkatsu ramen topped with tender, juicy pork belly. Tasty tonkatsu ramen, ramen topped with succulent, thin slices of roasted pork. Topped with spicy roe imported straight from Kyushu. There we go. And delicious tonkatsu ramen topped with a soft boiled egg. It's got a little American flag in it. I'll have this one. Thanks, dude. What about ramen, Shayla? You can be a sushi hater as long as you'll you'll eat ramen. Wait, what was it? Hold on, shit. Row. Spicy row from Kyushu. If they put an egg in there, it has to be cooked, otherwise no deal. They don't serve ramen with raw eggs, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> they don't serve ramen with raw eggs. <laughs> you... You goober. That's weird. Akiyama-san, you got that stock and topping info for me yet? Sure, I'm ready. First, please tell me what your favorite ramen shop is called. Cooked all the way through Zero Runny. <laughs> My eggs need to be cooked. You shoot number one star in Pink Alley. Sounds like a real hidden gem. What can you tell me about the stock they use? Chayla, big egg baby. Chayla, big egg baby. I want to put sloppy eggs on pancakes. Now you listen here. Alright. I put a lot of shit on pancakes. It's not just the eggs. Fruit jelly. Syrup. Eggs. Hash browns. It's all good on top of pancakes. All right. You didn't even try it. You didn't even try it. So you cannot knock it. You had the option. You said the only way that you know how to eat eggs is scrambled, which is uh, the most boring way to eat eggs still good but the most boring i had some delicious fried in bacon grease sunny side up eggs eggs that aren't cooked yet are disgusting they're not they're delicious and i think you have a misunderstanding 
about what cooked is. All right? Because it's not like they're cold. It's not like they're even lukewarm. They are hot. They are cooked. They are just not solidified. Which, I'm going to be honest with you, a thing that is, if think about this, let me put it to you this way. I want you to run this through your through your very biased and prejudiced brain about eggs, okay? Let's think about this. How many things that start out runny... <laughs> How many things that start out runny are better when they are solid? That not including eggs. Think outside the box here. How many things get better? Milk? Is milk better when it becomes solid? No. That means that it's gone sour. That's bad. Solid milk? Bad. All right. Ice cream. Oh, other, sorry. Ice cream is the other way. <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is you shouldn't let a thing that starts out in one state, like an egg, which is runny on the inside. Cheese. But see, people have this misconstrued and false narrative about cheese that it's just solid milk. It's not. Do you know what they have to do to milk in order to make it become cheese? It's basically not milk anymore, all right? Also, cheese is bad milk. Milk is by far the superior form of the dairy line that comes from cows. But that's not even to mention the fact that very little cheese that anybody eats in this world today is actually strictly made from uh from soured or spoiled milk that just doesn't happen anymore all right so get your facts straight also runny eggs are the superior form that is the way that they were intended to be eaten uh and at least i don't eat them raw like rocky because rocky drinks those fuckers that's gross. I cannot do that. But fried up with a little bit of with a little bit of uh with a little bit of runniness still in them. Now we're talking. Sunny side up eggs are delicious. And I'm not even saying I'm not a fan of the occasional hard boiled or deviled egg. But in those cases, most of the time we're talking about adding some stuff in there. You know, the, the hard-boiled and the, the deviled eggs, you're mixing and matching. You're adding some pieces. You're talking straight going from beautiful egg just freshly dropped in the pan, and what you're going to do is you're going to scramble that fucker? Really? And then fry it up so that it's hard? Why? What a waste. What a damnable waste of an egg, that is. That's all I'm saying. No reason to eat the egg on the side when you got this beautiful, absorbent plate that you can eat right in front of you. Perfect for placing a couple of lightly fried eggs right on top of. And then you pop the yolks and you watch the pancakes soak up that delicious, gooey center. And then you drizzle it all in syrup. Ugh. It's just delightful. It's just delightful. All I'm saying is you've I I highly doubt that you've ever tried it. So you can't knock it. That's all I'm going to say. Until you actually try it, then you can't say anything bad about it. 
because it's very, very good. It's a rich, authentic pork bone stock. Aka tonkutsu. They must be very particular about their soup. Now, what sort of distinctive toppings might they offer? Spicy roe imported straight from Kyushu. They have cod roe straight from Kyushu. Oh, how wonderful. I'm definitely going to have to try it for myself. You really piqued my interest. I think I'll head over there right now. Hope you like it. When it comes to food, I trust your intuition. Oh, and about your compensation. Think you can wait till I get back from the ramen shop? Sure, I don't mind. You want to meet here again? Yes. Thank you very much. I have visions of ramen dancing in my head already. I'll meet you. I'll meet you here later. Visions of ramen. Oh, <gasps> look at this game. It has little red shark marks by the ones that I've already drank. Oh my god, I love it. I, this is this is a this is a ten this is a ten out of ten game. This is a ten out of ten game. This is a premium Japanese whiskey that has won over whiskey lovers around the world. This whiskey starts with a single malt aged in Japanese Mizunara Mizunara oak and then blended with over thirty different painstakingly selected single malts. The mellow flavor produced by this process has earned it a gold prize in an international competition. The finish is particularly good. All right, what else should I do? Casanova column. Oh, wow. I forgot about this. Oh, that's right. That did happen. Double finishing kick. Hell yeah. What else should I do? Oh, I was going to make a joke about going and playing more Pachinko, but I think instead I'll try my hand again at Mahjong. We'll give that game another go since I can buy some more tags, some more sticks. Uh, and we'll see. We'll see how that goes for me. Oh, he almost caught me. Online Mahjong game? Wait, you play an online Mahjong game? Is it against real people? Because I don't really want to get my ass beat. But if it was an opportunity for me to learn, real people or AI, dude, if we could play against AI, I would totally join you. I need practice. I just don't want to get my ass beat by people who know what they're doing. Like I need I need Scrub Lord beginner AI. Oh, I need tanks. Sticks. He 
He said have fun. Ha! Ah, I'm playing Mahjong, you idiot. It's no fun to be had here. It's serious business. We're going big. We're going to a half game. All right, here we go. <coughs> Anime waifus, dude. Where do I sign up? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know what that would get me. How does that get me anything? That means I win, though. I did it. Four, five, six, two, four, seven, eight, nine. Four, seven, eight, drew a seven. Let's get rid of this two. Wow, I had three eights. Ha ha ha! Not the sa. Ah, so the whistle that oh boy. My victory. One three five seven. Four five six seven two four eight. I will keep this two. I will get rid of that two. Wow. Wow. 
Uh, I could add two, three, four. All right, now I have two, three, four, five, six, seven. No! Oh, that just fucks him. Puts me in solid second. Uh, this is a shit hand. Four, five. I got two pairs of eight, two sets of eight, nine. Uh, enough white dragons discarded that I can't win with that. Another fucking one. I can keep the seven, I guess. Think he won't help? Yeah, I know. No need to be a dick about it, though. Is that a four? It is a four. Oh my god. Yeah, I need that pretty bad. What did you call Ricci with? God damn it. He didn't have it. Five, six, seven, two, two, two. Oh, he had two pairs. Yeah, he didn't quite get there. He got closer than I did. Oh boy. Five five seven a five five seven nine one two four four. I'm the West seat. Nine. I could keep. I want to keep the fives. Let's get rid of the seven. You've 
gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Why couldn't I take that three? She played the three that I wanted. That's not good. Wow. Well, that's going to fuck me real good, isn't it? Yep. Oh, my God. Got to be shitting me. God damn it, man. Lost more. Incredible. Why are my hands so terrible? I don't know what, like, terrible creature I need to pledge everlasting servitude to in order to get a fucking hand it doesn't make me want to gouge my eyes out but man i have not found the right one apparently hey how's it going I'll take it. That's fine. 
This is fine. Everything's fine. Pump. Pump. Just reveal my whole hand. I don't care. Do I know how to play Mahjong? Depends on how you define no. Do I understand the general mechanics? Yes. Do I understand how to apply them to win consistently? No. Get rid of that one. That really doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. That does. That does not. Multiple green dragon discards already, so we'll get rid of that. Oh my goodness. Pair of ones, pair of sevens, pair of fives, three, six, nine. There's a there's a one discard. There's a seven discard. Maybe it doesn't help you, Etsuko. Helps me. Trash the nine. Wow, you already discarded a seven and you drew the other one? That's my seven now. One's fives, a three, and a six. I'll take that. Now I really don't know what to get rid of, though. Oh, I'm prepared. this round to end in a draw again narrowly bumping me up to second place just barely right now 
7 East South Southwest 9. Too easy, man. And of course, I. Oh, come on! With the Reichi already? Are you freaking kidding me? Let me pair my East. Unfortunately, this is probably not going to happen. Actually, maybe I will ditch it. There's already a one. There's already multiple ones down as well. Let's get rid of that. There's a seven down as well. Leech. God damn you. It's already a three discarded. Ah, ah, mm, ah, uh, yeah. Come. I don't know how I win now. I still have to pair a uh, pair something. Oh, fucking seven and eight. Oh, that's so close. But nobody. Oh, nope. There is an eight discard. Just the one. But there's also a seven discard. So how do you choose? How do you choose? This card my oh 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 come oh my god a six and a seven why why would you do this to me there's one six discard try for the six No, but look at my hand. Wow, really? Yikes, that is unfortunate. That bumps me to third. Son of a bitch. I even had something that I felt like was working for me there. All right, we got six, seven, eight. Extraneous two, five, six, extraneous two, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, nine. Woof. All right. Let's get rid of that extraneous two. It's just twos for me. All twos. All right. Another four. Well, that five really blows. I'm gonna try to keep my hand concealed for now. So I have four, five, six. I don't think this nine is gonna come into play. Okay, this changes how I feel about this little bit. 
No. East. Get out of here, East. Three, four, five, and four, five, six, and seven, seven. All right. <sighs> There's already a six discard. Basically looking for a four. Nope. A four or a seven. Then I could have fucking mm. no. That eight really sucks. It's actually really unlikely that I get a seven here, so I can't keep the eight. There it is. Oh, you know. Oh, smooth. Yes. Give me all your sticks. It's, I'm still in third. I still have to win another hand. An all simple sumo there is not really like the the game winning hand that I would have liked, but. Six, seven, eight, three, nine. I drew a nine. Win, dragon, dragon. One, two, three, five, seven. Let's get rid of the three. I mean, the two nines could just as easily be my pair. I don't really need to take that one. It's a little early in the game to expose my hand. Don't need that. The eight is interesting, but makes my five worthless. Need a six or a nine to finish that run. I don't need that. I don't need that. Don't need that. I'm the west seat, so the north wind doesn't help me. See, now this six I will probably take. Uh, only white dragon has been discarded so far, which makes me nervous about discarding dragons. All right, I'll discard the wind. Nope. Leech. Are you? Wow. His brain while trying to play in a game requiring brain power. He got that with seven pairs? Dude. Fucking third place again. Ridiculous. I cannot believe he got that with three pairs. That's such bullshit. I just want to completely forfeit this hand. This hand is like the worst hand that I could imagine. Two, four, eight. Four, seven, eight. Two, four, eight. I drew a six. One of each dragon in east. Like, what do you even do with this?
Just gonna make a bunch of melds from their fucking shit. Fuck you, game. Wow. I don't know. You didn't even tell me what game he's playing. You can see my confusion. You can see my confusion. Satisfactory as an adjective and satisfactory as a noun both fit in that previous sentence that you typed out. Another seven. Wow. Are you kidding me, dude? Come on. Let me play the factory game. Whatever. I was not going to win that fucking hand anyway. I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I almost have. I almost have a full straight of bamboo. I should just try to go for that this turn. No, I don't want that. I don't want that either. That doesn't help me. I need a one game. I hope my car's not getting a ticket. Nice, dude. I'm South Chair. Need a one. Need a peacock. What dragons are down? Red. For sure. A green. A white. Fuck you. There's two discarded peacocks. There's three discarded peacocks. Fuck me. Why won't it let me grab one? Ugh. I don't understand this fucking game. It just makes me angry. Whatever, I tried. Literally, nobody had anything worth sharing. Everybody's hand was shit there. Awesome. Fucking awesome. <sighs> Wait, 
誕生日なんだよな。うん I can't eat it. Pom. Three, six, eight. Today, I'll give you a gift. I hold on anything stupid. No sixes have been discarded. No ones have been discarded. Nope, one one has. Fuck. Yeah, these these are probably a waste of effort, honestly. How do threes look? One discarded three. So you're saying there's a chance. Three, five, six, eight. Multiple nines gone. Other than that, it's all fair game. Fuck you. Mine. Oh boy. Four or seven. I wish I wouldn't have got rid of that one now. Wrong kind of seven, you smart ass game. Still the wrong kind of seven. Wow. Sad. Boy, that seems early to call this. All right, well, the best I can hope for now is either I either take this or I try to make it be my pair.
Okay. I'm waiting for it too now. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. But I'm gonna. Now I need to get rid of both of these and pray for a better pair. Could add seven, eight, nine. God, fuck you. Wow. <sighs> That's the kind of shit, man. Yep, that's mine. Thank you, sir. You're fucked. Never claim to understand the scoring of this game. Do not get it. Very glad that it automatically calculates everything. South and west. I've got east and north. Those are both worthless to me. That seven is very good, though. It's his son's birthday today. That's so nice. I don't want that. Ooh. Nine eight six eight seven two one. Oh, wow. Raid. Oh, man. What's up, Jolly? How's everybody going? How's everybody doing? How is it going? My brain did that thing again. Welcome to a stark departure of what I am sure was a very exciting stream over at Jolly's channel to me playing Mahjong. A host as well. Thank you, hamster. What is that emote? Does that say Ola? Oh my goodness. Another host. Rice man, thank you. How's everybody doing? I am losing at Mahjong. Oh my goodness. And the freaking bot got another sub. The gift subs as well. Jolly, you are far too kind. Thank you, everybody. Thank you all. I hope everybody's having a good day. I know mine just got better. Enjoy the gift subs if you got one. Congrats. Another host, Drunk Beard. Thank you. I will now proceed to be bad at Mahjong for all of you. You're welcome. If you're good at Mahjong, you are a very smart person. And I am envious. Yep. <laughs> you never played it before? 
I I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, oof. it's a it's a it's an it's an incredible game. I will say that. I don't dislike Mahjong. I dislike how bad I am at it. That's what I will say about Mahjong. I actually really like the concept of Mahjong. I just execution wise, I just don't got it. I need like a hundred years more practice than what I have. <sighs> All right. Well, they're gonna force you to make a decision. I see a seven discard. I see eight discards. I see a nine nine discard. Let's just get rid of these. These aren't gonna help us. These aren't gonna help us rise to great victory. Um, I don't want that seven. I got my own seven that doesn't. Oh, wait, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Hey, okay, all right. <sighs> five, seven, eight, one, two. Let's just get rid of the one. Let's just get that out of there. That nine doesn't really help us, but let's just get it. Oh, oh, I see how it is. Wait, so I have. Seven seven eight nine nine, and I could have seven seven eight eight nine nine. Does that really help me though? No. Oh, hey, seven eight nine. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of five. Need a pair. Don't need that. Ah. Oh, I did it. I did it. Give me all your sticks. Give me all your sticks. Okay. Three, four, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. <laughs> that, no, no, no. See, like, that one round. No, 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 no. We've got... The game is young. The, 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 the... We are... We are barely even into the tiniest... We haven't even dipped our toes into how bad I am at this. <laughs> yeah, but those points, you don't understand. Those points can swing. Those points can swing so fast. You guys just just wait. You'll you'll see. You'll see. Trust me. Trust me. One, two, three, five, nine. <laughs> One, two, eight. Let's get rid of this eight. Um I'm south seed, it's south board. North doesn't do us any good. This nine does not help us at all. Three. Could do a pair with the three. Then this nine doesn't help us at all. Could take the one, don't need it. Get rid of another nine, come on. North. Nope. No. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Let's get rid of four. Eight. Seven. All high numbers. And I got rid of my four for nothing. <sighs> Red dragon. One. Nine again. Each. Great. Oh. Great. Seven. Did you just win? No! Okay, but he did it on a run, which means that I don't have to give him anything, but that means he gets everything from one person. And he's a hundred sticks behind me. Holy shit. Okay, pair of sixes. Two, three, four, seven, eight. One, four, seven. West, north, seven. I'm east seat. The board is south. 
So west and north don't help us. Let's just get rid of those for now. See what else unfolds here. Two doesn't really bring any good fortune. Five doesn't really help us, but this one is more lackluster, I would say. An eight. Go with my other eight. Oh, I've got a mess here. I have a mess. I have a two, three, four that I can use. And then one, two, three pairs that don't help. No, 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 no. See, that's the thing, though. Like, this, this is just me talking about what I can visually see and decode just because I have read the instructions. That doesn't necessarily mean that I know that much. I just have read the instructions. That's all we're doing. I'll ditch the four. I can read. I can, and I, I can read. Reading is a power that anybody would tell you that I do have. Oh, I want that. I guess I'll take it. I should just get rid of this seven then. I cannot believe you're calling Ricci already. Will you get out of here with that nonsense? We're going to roll deep for a three. Has anybody discarded any sevens? No. Anybody discarded any threes? No. I suck at reading. All right, well, that's fair. You're not good at re-ratting either? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good at, am I good at pachinko? Am I good at pachinko? That's what we're going to go with. Oh. Rolling deep for a three. I got it. Why is that not GG? What am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I need a pair of honors, don't I? Well, that might be bad. I always forget how this works. Reported. Don't report me. Don't report me. I didn't win. Because I never remember how this game works. Has anybody even given up a white dragon? No? Well, then I'm not giving up mine. You can have this nine. Ban hammer? No! Don't ban me, bro. God damn it. Fully concealed hand. Oh, no! <laughs> See, now I'm in third. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, I mean, and I, I mean, if you guys want a simple explanation at the level that I'm playing, I can give it to you while I play, if you're curious, but honestly, it's, it's a lot, even at, even at the level that I'm trying to play at, which is like baby tier. This is the, this is the, I am sitting at the beginner table. You don't even pretend to know what's going on. I, it's. It's just making pairs and trios and, and straights. That's all you're doing. I have two sixes and two nines. I want to get another six and another nine. I have two peacocks. I want to get a third peacock. And basically, you're just trying... The simplest hand you can make is a bunch of tiles that are in sets of three that match either as the same thing or as a run. 
yeah, actually, it is a, it is exactly like Complex Gin. If you've played Gin or Gin Rummy, this is pretty much just that. Um, j but with uh, with some janky stealing rules that are tricky. Like, that's really all I'm doing. I know it looks weird and complicated, and it is, because, like, if I showed you guys, like, here is the number of hands that you can win with. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. There's twenty-three pages of instructions about how many hands you can win with. So it's complicated, but there is also kind of like a, a dumbed down baby town version that you can play as where you basically ignore all of that shit and just try to make a gin hand and call it good. So it's, it's a very complicated game at high levels, but you can play down in the mud where I am and not have to worry about any of that shit. So. <laughs> oh, God. Boom. Just gotta take his nine. I'm just gonna take it. I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna take it. I was going to try to get a concealed hand. Call Ryuichi like uh, Ryuzoji over there. Thinks he's hot shit. He's not. God, are you... Oh, are you shitting me? Dude. 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 That's it. Lost again. Lost again. I just, I can't. I can't anymore. I... <laughs> Mahjong is a giant fucking ripoff, man. Giant fucking ripoff. Oh my god. So bad at it. And this game wants me to get 50,000 points in a sitting. Fifty thousand. I had fourteen. Fourteen thousand six hundred is what I had. Horseshit. That's what I say. I want to sneak in a little bit of story, but we probably shouldn't. We should probably call it a night. Uh, I did no story today. I did all... F I golf for so long. I golf for so long. Why did I golf for so long? Because I'm bad at golfing. But I finished it. But I golf for so long. Where's somebody? I need to beat somebody up. Where's somebody at? I just want to beat them up. No consequences. Where are you? Somebody wants to fight me. Anybody. You want to fight me? You and... Oh my god, that is a terrible outfit. You want to fight me? Hey. Yes, he wants to fight me. I'm going to beat this guy up and vent my anger. You have a good night as well, hamster. Thank you for joining in on the raid. Oh my god, is he wearing a wig? Thank you for joining in the raid and the host. Is it a hat or is it a wig? It's a wig! He, he 
has a ridiculous. He's called Rich Looking Man. Look at his wig. It looks like a condom. It does. It looks like a half a condom. Oh, man. Oh, your wig is so bad. Holy shit. All right. Are you going to give me a bunch of money? Are you going to give me a reason to save again? I beat up condom head. Can't believe that just happened. Here's the reward I promised, but I guarantee you won't be able to do that again. A gold-plated sti- What? Wait, that's not gold-plated. I got ripped off. That's not gold-plated at all. How could he lie to me like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, we're probably we're probably wrapped up. I'm gonna probably just go save again, and we're gonna call it a night. Where, it, where I went, I went way long because I when you raided, I was like, oh, I'll play another game of Mahjong. No big deal. So, I'm probably gonna wrap things up. I appreciate everything once again, man. Give subs raid super super cool. I need to uh, reciprocate as well, honestly. So, wrapped up like his head. Woof. So, have a good one. We're going to save it up and call it a night. All right. You guys know the drill. Resident Evil tomorrow night. Divinity Original Sin on Tuesday. Normal night off Wednesday. Thursday's Resident Evil. Again. Friday's Divinity Original Sin. Again. That's the, that's the upcoming games. I appreciate you guys today. Everybody. It's a lot of fun. Have a good rest of your night. I will see you guys later.